Hey everybody, Marcos Villegas here, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and touch on a topic that I know is gonna have a lot of you guys talking up into the new year. Of course, 2013 is closing out, and you're seeing Fighter of the Year being thrown out with many fighters in the current boxing landscape. A lot of people picking, you know, the obvious choices, like Floyd Mayweather Jr., others picking Timothy Bradley, and others picking Gennady Golovkin. All three of these fighters having a spectacular 2013 in the boxing landscape, but like the Highlander movies, there can be only one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you my one. I'm gonna pick Floyd Mayweather Jr. as my 2013 fighter of the year. Now you may ask why, why would you do that, man? It's the obvious choice, why? Let me tell you why. Floyd started off the year in huge fashion. He went ahead and signed that Showtime deal and completely, completely changed the landscape of boxing. He turned it up over its head and sideways and however you want to explain it. He became the richest athlete this year because of that deal. He changed the landscape. He, he made it so that Showtime is now, you can make an argument, putting on the best fights in the boxing landscape right now because of him. And then he goes ahead, after he signs this deal, he goes ahead and faces the number one guy at 147 pounds other than Manny Pacquiao, which we know that fight can't happen. So he takes on the number two guy pretty much in Robert the Ghost Guerrero, who had a spectacular win over Andre Berto to get that title shot. And he goes, steps in the ring with him in May of this year and makes him look basic, absolutely basic. Puts on a masterclass performance. And we were all thinking Guerrero was gonna go in and bully Floyd around and do what he did with Andre Berto. Nope, wrong, didn't do that. Floyd showed why he's the top guy in boxing today. So he takes that performance, and we didn't think he could do any better than that. And he goes, and he faces the number one guy in the next division up at 154 pounds. He takes on Saul Canelo Alvarez and beats him worse than he beats Robert Guerrero. I gave Guerrero two rounds in that fight. In this Canelo fight this past May, I gave him zero, none. Great work by Floyd. So he went ahead in one year, did the Showtime deal, made him the richest athlete in sports, changed the whole boxing landscape flipped it on its head in one signing and then he goes ahead and beats one of the top guys at 147 pounds and makes him look basic and then he goes and he wins another title in another division takes on the number one guy and he makes him look basic right now he's the champion the best guy in two weight divisions there's no other boxer that comes to the top of my head that's done the things this year that floyd mayweather jr does to me, it's the obvious choice. See what he's done, it speaks for himself. And if you were to ask me, Ruslan deserves it, yeah. All these guys deserve it. All these guys had great years and this is the first time where we didn't have to really forcefully make something up to give a guy the fighter of the year. We, you know, Last year was a little difficult. Nonino Donier won it. He had four fights, he had a great year. This year, you could have made an argument for either of the guys that I listed, but my choice, I'm sticking with my guns. Floyd Mayweather Jr. wins my 2013 Fighter of the Year.